now the, the last session we to the last session of this EST con but very interesting and very important session the uh, we have we are covering we here the covid and uh, sex and skin and the sexology so for this i invite dr j tulsi the session coordinator uh, over to dr tulsi thank you sir for giving me this opportunity uh, uh, in i'm to our session i would like to invite the chief persons dr ak jai sir technical person please uh, share the slide of ak jai sir also yeah so is a senior consultant former professor and hod of afmc and dr mc and the service uh, former additional director general of uh, armed forces medical services and ex vice president and general secretary of iid even ex president and vice president of ia std and h sir has uh, written 20 chapters in uh, iadvl api and ias std textbooks uh, and sir was honored with eight awards and nine orations and honored with three highest national awards sir has uh, 150 national and international publications well, warm welcome sir please share the session next i would like to invite the uh, second chair person dr v manohar kumar sir mohan kumar uh, mohan Kum sorry mohan kumar sir who is working as associate professor in the department dvl of government erode medical college perandurai sir has 14 publications 10 presentations and, and has so many honors and awards sir so areas of interest are st sts and hiv and aids well, and sir is honorary in general secretary of uh, issd aids and third chair person dr b janardhan sir sir is uh, having six national and six international publications sir is working uh, for 15 years in different uh, teaching colleges now working as a professor at bhaskara medical college moinabad and um, a very warm welcome sir please share the session i am the treasurer of iadwl telangana <laughs> yes i request ak jayswal sir to invite our first speaker dr DG Saplesi. Jaiswal sir. Jaiswal sir. Respond. So if if Sarah is not there, we'll move on to the Dr. Mar Patias. He is not picking up the phone, so we'll move on to the second talk. Okay. Uh, I would like to invite the uh, second speaker, Dr. Yogesh S. Marfati, sir. Srinivas Marfati, sir, PPT. Yes. I request Dr. V. Mohan Kumar, sir. Please invite Dr. Yogesh, sir. I am Professor. I do invite our editor, IDSTD, past president of ISPID, the Commission for Excellence, Professor Rokesh Kadiya Sir. This one, sir. Then go. Then go. Hello, is my audio? Yes. I am an immense pleasure to invite our Professor Yogesh Malpati Sir. Our past president, IADVL and IASTD, our IJSTD editor for the past two decades. Over to Murphy, sir. Thank you, Dr. Mohan Kumar, and thank you, Bhumesh Kumar and team. As Murphy, sir, PPT. Yes, my PPT. Uh, see, thanks for giving me a different uh, topic, at least uh, out of box topic. Usually, I am not in a habit of talking on uh, such uh, this thing, but I have taken this challenge. Thank you, Bhumesh. My PPT uh, may be projected now. Srinivas, Marupati sir, PPT project. I have already submitted it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, see, see. Yes, thank you. See the. Yeah, you can come to the second slide. Yes, so yes, 
so my topic is skin and sex next see our domain of dermatologist is not only dermatology it is venereology and leprosy as well and patient coming from for treatment of sti or venereal problems they are more comfortable to discuss about their sexual issues so we are at advantage while handling sexual problems next why skin is very much important skin is very much important because it is not the largest organ of the body but it is also the largest sex organ it has got surface area between 1.5 to 2 square meters in addition to perceived visual importance skin is our largest sensory organ 5% of blood pump through cardiac output which is in the skin in healthy conditions and in particular touch sensations play a vital role in a initiation of sexual response next so on an average there are 650 sweat glands per uh, square inch there are 20 blood vessels per square inch 6000 melanocytes and very profuse now supply that is up more than 1000 now endings and it is up to 8000 in clitoral skin next so genital skin is specially tailored by uh, unique glands erogenous and elastic tissues profuse blood supplies now supplies it has got a very favorable endocrinal milieu and it is suitable for sexual attraction and interactions genital skin is an inseparable part of sex organs any disease affecting genital skin will have a profound impact on sexuality next please yes so research have shown that human babies need touch not only to survive but to thrive touch can also have biologic effects such as by helping to promote the release of oxytocin which is described as bonding hormone or cuddle hormone touch can have psychological effect of helping people to feel loved happy accepted calm or reassured women are 5 to 10 times more sensitive to touch as compared to men so one of the most pleasurable parts of sexual inti intimacy is the experience of touching and being touched all over next so skin is very active endocrinologically and reflects endocrinal changes occurring in body throughout the life cycle it is an important organ of immune system uh, it skin and brain originate from neuro ectoderm skin is a point where mind and body meet it is an organ of expression so skin is an important part of non verbal communication including psychosexual communication next yes so anything that affects skin health in terms of appearance this includes systemic disease mental illnesses generalized skin diseases skin diseases confined to genitalia and erogenous zone they will have tremendous impact on sexual health next so impact of systemic illness or skin diseases is in terms of reduced self esteem anxiety depression social avoidance or isolation and it will have a lot of impact on sexuality if we don't take proper history we will never get it such patient usually go to uh, sex therapist because many of us now we are sort of averse to practicing in this uh, dimension so i mean some awareness is required next so generalized skin diseases like chronic vesicular bullous disorders connective tissue disorders erythrodermas atopic dermatitis psoriasis lichen planus can have negative impact on sexual health health chronic debilitating uh, skin diseases can lower testosterone levels as well decrease or loss of sexual function in many chronic skin diseases has recently attracted significant attention owing to its impact on quality of life next yes so coming to genital dermatosis and its impact on uh, quality of sexuality or sexual life so genital dermatosis like hydradenitis suppurativa lichen sclerosus erythroplasia of quera or zunz balenitis or even simple vitiligo localized to genitalia and other erogenous erogenous area they may not be considered mild see whenever we uh, assess any disease like psoriasis we go for pasi score but having lesions only psoriatic yeah, patches uh, to genitalia and not all uh, other part it, it is as important as a high pasi score so the message is that 
whenever there is uh, any generalized dermatosis of, uh, or ge dermatosis affect predominantly genitalia it should be scored in accordingly and uh, it should be not be considered mild and to be treated adequately and aggressively so uh, in short while evaluating such dermatosis for dl dlqi or quality of life uh, not only physical but mental component must be taken into account next pruritus and genital contact allergy so genital pruritus is very embarrassing and will definitely uh, have impact on uh, sexual life it can be due to infective causes and non infective conditions another neglected topic is genital contact allergy there are many causes of it it is important to consider this neglected condition in cases having recurrent or intractable or unexplained pruritus even conjugal contact dermatitis can have impact on sexual activity and high level of suspicion is required to label it it is reported that seminal fluid can cause uh, angioedema or urticaria in the male partner so there are many such uh, situations uh, or something used or some lubricant or something and um, one partner use it another partner have problem and in in term it will create a problem on their sexual activity so proper diagnosis and management will have positive impact on sexual health next impact on uh, of infective genital dermatosis you you know, we all know that sti have tremendous impact on sexual health in our my present practice or most of us we are regularly getting herpes cases genital herpes cases particularly in young people newly married couples or about to marry person they have lot of concern about their sexual activity and having child and all this that and that is to be addressed properly uh, impact of uh, infections like tinea candida intertrigo needs to be dealt with promptly and adequately we must offer them prompt relief leprosy you know tremendous impact on sexuality due to fear of contracting infection neurologic deficit uh, deformity and importantly lepromatous cases can have lower testosterone level we all know that hiv and aids i need not discuss but will definitely have hiv aids art will have tremendous impact on sexual life of the cases next then another important thing appendageal conditions of genitalia Uh, like hyperhidrosis bromohydrosis chromohydrosis this can be even evil this should must be evaluated and managed properly uh, like uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean antiperspirant glycopyrrolate wipes they have temporary effect and can be used or sometimes some drugs particularly may be considered anticholinergic type of not regularly but uh, during vacation or something like that adnex adnexal tumors of genitalia may have aesthetic and visible impact they are usually under diagnosed or under recognized and needs proper labeling and uh, if required excision or surgical management hairy skin is more prone to folliculitis and other issues so good healthy looking skin with good smell uh, or odor will provoke it or ignite sexual desire and we should try to facilitate this type of Uh, milieu in our patient next this is equally important and neglected drug used in many dermatologic uh, management they have impact on sexual sexuality by lowering testosterone for example de decrease lidic cell testosterone production due to steroid or ketoconazole binding to a, the androgen receptor that is pyrrolactone fruto uh, fruto uh, fruitamide renitidine is affected i mean uh, when patient is on the, those medications decrease gonadotropin secretions we all know about uh, steroid or acds suppression then estrogen progestin or even prolactin or a drug that raise prolactin level they may have such impact conversion of testosterone to diadose testosterone is affected by oral finasteride of course by and large such chances are very less and now we are comfortable in using finasteride in, in except in small number of cases but this is always to be kept in mind next uh, many other drugs which we use like antihistamines particularly first generation antihistamines potent and sedative i mean then opiates some ansaids some vasoactive drugs we use in connective tissue disorder nifedipine nalapril 
immunosuppressive agents we all know about cyclophosphamide which is not to be now given during at least during reproductive age group uh, because of uh, uh, various reasons next yeah circumcision and genital health i think uh, i i attended the, this particular talk in the morning and it was a very much highlighted its importance so circumcision improves genital health it decreases the chances of acquisition of many stis including hiv and who has recommended circumcision as an additional strategy to control spread of hiv it improves prognosis of many non venereal genital dermatoses recurrent uh, balanopostitis huns balanitis overall it improves quality of sexual interactions interestingly majority of indian males are uncircumcised um, as compared to other countries where um, by religion uh, practices many of the people they go for circumcision but overall it has got positive impact of genit on genital health and sexuality next Uh, so sexuality is a complex process coordinated by neurologic vascular endocrinal systems skin is, is richly Dr. supplied Yogesh, by yes, i'm sorry to I intervene you left for 3 minutes skin is richly supplied by nerve endings blood vessels and it is highly active endocrinologically it is the most important sex organ next these are concluding slide skin and sex what is the role of dermatologist it is important that dermatologist in addition to being sensitive to psychological significance of the skin also play attention to significance of human se uh, sexuality the influence of skin on eroticism and the role of dermatologic pathology on human relation and thus also sexual relations i think with this i conclude next slide so i acknowledge organizers of uh, esticon dr bhumesh kumar Uh, many of the material i have taken from slide sets of venkat ramanna available on dharma gyan lecture series iadbl thank you dr venkat ramanna and my pg student dr apeksha and all thank you thank you very much well thank you very much can am i audible yes sir bhumesh i am sorry that time there was some problem in my this thing so um, i on behalf of myself my dr major general ak jaiswal and my colleagues Dr. Janardhan and Dr. Mohan Kumar, welcome you all to this very interesting session. The very last session, our last session may be good news for some and may be bad news for others. But then, in this particular session, we are going to have some very interesting aspects like COVID-19 versus sex, skin versus sex has already been dealt with. And the interesting part that in this session, I have very good old friends of mine, all of them, Dr. Marfatia, Dr. Saple, Dr. Uh, Kashi Verma, Dinesh Govil, my dear dear friend, Dr. Patnaik, Kavi Rashnan, Dr. Mohan Lal, all of them are very good old friends, and we have been a co-examiner very many a time. At the same time, I must compliment Dr. Uh, Marfatia for a very 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 interesting and um, lucid presentation. Now, can I have the liberty to invite Dr. Saple? Yes, sir. Invite, sir. Invite. May I have now uh, the liberty to invite my good old friend again, Dr. D. G. Saple. He shall be speaking upon COVID-19 versus sex. May I have Dr. Saple select? Well, Dr. Saple needs no introduction. I think he is one of the known, very old figure in field of dermatology, especially in uh, STD and HIV and AIDS. Of course, as you can see on the slides, he is all uh, for such achievements. Only thing I can say that he is a uh, wonderful very down to earth person very thorough academician and a widely acclaimed uh, dermatologist and venerologist dr saple may i have the honor to invite you to share your thoughts saple sir saple sir is there saple sir if saple sir is not there so we'll move on to the panel discussion tulsi you invite dr janab to introduce our moderator request dr b janardhan sir to invite moderator dr g venkatramana sir to conduct the panel session am i audible yeah yeah a uh, very good evening to one and all i thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to chair this session important session 
I would like to invite Dr. G. Venkatramana, sir, who is a well-known speaker from Telangana. He is professor, former professor and HOD of Usmania Medical College. He has 19 publications to his credit. There are more than 576 presentations at various levels and forums in the conferences and many awards to brief. His areas of interest are sexology, STDs, HIV, and AIDS. So today he will be moderating on the session on sexology, which will include pornography, lifestyle, diabetes, obesity, etc. Over to Venkat Ramana, sir, to start the session. Venkatana, sir, you put it in slide mode. So thank you one and all for inviting me here. Today the topic is porno and its effects. Today porno is available everywhere from nook and corner from Gully to Delhi. So each and everybody is wa watching and observing this porno with astonishment initially, then interest and enthusiasm later on. This porno, now everybody is learning today, not from healthcare professionals. They are learning the sexology or sex education through pornography only. The time has arisen now, who healthcare provider, should rise to this occasion to help them in separating the fact from fiction. They should realize which is real, which is real. This pornography can be defined as any material, a representation of human body or sexual activity with the goal of sexual arousal or sexual energy relief is considered as a pornography. Other definition is explicit portrayal of the sexual activity for the sake of sexual stimulation, usually through many forms like story books, story pictures, videos, etc. This pornography today has grown up into leaps and bounds, taking shape in almost every form of media with unlimited availability and a plethora of observers. My dear friends, today, 26 million sites are dedicated for pornography. 260 lakh sites are there in the internet. 30% of web, web traffic is dedicated to porno. 40 million, million Americans are visiting the porno every day. Two-thirds of men and one-third of women are observing. Are observing. That means even women race is also contributing one-third in the logging of porno. Most of the time, this porno is observed at 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. On an average, Philippines are observing 9 minutes every day, whereas we Indians are observing, uh, watching the porno for 8 minutes and 20 seconds. This is an, an average figure. So Indians, 30% females are watching the porno, 70% males. We are the highest. India has got this distinction a dubious distinction that woman race is 30% highest in the world. Our woman race is watching the porno. Even the liberated country like America is only 25%. Canada, 25%. Every second, this porno industry is earning billions and billions of dollars. 
for every 39 minutes one new pornographic video is uploaded it's earning 13 billions from the esa see so child pornography generating 3 billions per year so huge revenue is involved in this porno spreading its tentacles silently in epidemic way and Indian, these are all the websites people are watching. As I told you, we are having highest number of women watchers for this. And in women, 8 minutes, 31 seconds average. Global average time is we are above global average time. And these are all the porno sites and porno rates of male and female. India is the third largest consumer of porno. India is the third country, largest country who is consuming the porno. Apart the first two countries being United States and UK, United Kingdom. Now, in order to know more about this porn and its effects, I invite the learned panelists here. The first one, the senior most, Dr. Kaushil Verma. I invite you, sir, a senior person, a physician from Royal College of Physicians, Edinburgh. And he's almost 150 research publications, done 24 chapters. As a past president of various our association, IADVL as well as IASTD. And he is a member of International Contact Dermatitis Research Group. He is a senior, well informed person, eminent personality. Let's invite with a big hand Dr. Kaushal Verma. The you, next Dr. senior Benjamin. person, Dr. Dinesh Goel, sir. He is also a very senior man, having 34 publications. A lot of honors and achievements for him. He is also president, past president, IASTD, IADVL, president IMA Jansi branch. A lot of, he has hugely contributed to the professional development and for the academic development of the PGs. I invite you, sir. Please give him a big hand, please. Now, let us, after finishing North, I, I am coming to South. Let us invite. Our Kavya Rasan, sir, he's from Chidambaram. He's professor in HOD there. He's also a well-informed person. He is editor-in-chief of Journal of Clinical Experimental Dermatology. And he is a, has having more than 20 years of teaching experience. He has authored uh, many chapters in IAG textbook about leprosy. Welcome, sir. We invite you wholeheartedly. Give him a big hand, please. Thank you, sir. Then let's go to East. Now, Dr. Satyadrishi Patnaik is also professor in HOD from Berhampur. He's having 24 publications, a lot of awards and honors for him to his credit. So, we invite you, sir. And he is president elect for this IASTD. We invite you, sir. Big him, big hand, please. Then, the junior Turk, a more interested person, interested in the area of STI and HIV. Dr. Mohanlal, who is Associate Professor from Usmania. We invite you, Mohanlal. Give him a big hand, please. So now, my dear friends, we have chosen the panelists from East, North, South, East, West. Now we can pose any questions. As I have prepared certain questions, let us learn from them, from the panelists. The first question is, why do people watch porno? We'll go to first Verma sir. Kaushal Verma ji. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Venkatraman for having invited me and my thanks to the uh, organizing team, including Dr. Pumesh and the entire uh, the board of organization. Uh, I'm certainly not an expert in the pornography and I have very little idea <laughs> compared to several of you who might be having it. But uh, now this is an interesting area and uh, why do people watch porn? People watch porn, I guess it's, uh, I mean, sex is the integral part of, uh, say, the adult life. And uh, people do want to have a feel, have a pleasure and have, say, the excitement and entertainment in the form of uh, pornography. And as we have uh, seen in the previous lectures also, that uh, uh, this is an interesting and integral part of, uh, say, the adult life. People have uh, to practice sex. They want to have the pleasurable life. They want to drive pleasure out of, say, watching uh, the online material or 
watch, seeing the books or maybe reading through the books. So I think it is uh, uh, very important and it's an integral part of uh, adult life. So, and, and since it interests everyone, like you have shown the data from different countries and uh, say from our, our country also, where it has shown that yes, large number of people are uh, into this. And my guess is that even more would be there. This survey might have not uh, say brought out the real pictures or the real numbers. There may be many more people who may be watching this and uh, not included in this survey. So uh, I think it's it's quite uh, integral to the uh, human health and also it is to the emotional health and uh, the sexual practices. Thank you, sir. Yes. Many people watch it is because of curiosity. Some people watch to beat the boredom. Some people watch for the sake of comfort. Some need a feel to feel powerful. Some watch because of peer pressure. Some be, need, watch because to escape the regular stress. Some watch for fantasy indulgence like this. There are various reasons, more or less, as you rightly said, sir, everybody is watching the porno. Somebody are admitting, many are not admitting. So selfishness, loneliness, male insecurity, poor body image, marital conflicts, weak spiritual life, sexual utilitarian philosophy, mistrust of the partner, woman or man, lack of sense of fulfillment. All these things are contributing factor for watching the porno. Spiritual and life may not have much to do with this. The, the, the person who is more spiritual, he'll be less porno. <laughs> less, spirit, less spiritual, more porno. This is vice versa, op opposite side. The, the second question is, what are the benefits of watching porno? Why so many people watching means there are certain benefits are there. That's why they are watching. So what are all the benefits for watching this porno? We will go to Satyadarshi Patnaik, sir. Patnaik, are you there? Yeah, he's there, he's there. Patnaik? If not, then I will go to Dr. Kavir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm there. Yeah. Please, Thank you, uh, sir. Thank you, sir. The benefits are... Uh, there are uh, people uh, like women you told who do not know about uh, sex or they do not have uh, the uh, courage to ask their seniors or friends uh, about uh, sex and uh, its uh, intricate applicability. So they uh, watch porno secretly to get knowledge from the uh, pornographic films or journals. Next, uh, those who are uh, having weakness in arousal process they also do not, uh, uh, they also turn to pornography for uh, getting arousal and they also uh, achieve orgasm during uh, watching or reading pornography. So people derive their pleasure out of pornography by achieving orgasm, by achieving arousal. And uh, there are uh, some people who want to take up different uh, positions in sex life. So they want to experiment for that also. They, source the pornography and uh, the pornography also leads to achievement of uh, sexuality in a total. Yes. Thank you, sir. You rightly said it increases the libido. It relieves the stress. If the person limits only up to watching, it is free from STDs and HIV unless he does experimentation outside. It is an opportunity to explore the sexuality. So anybody, this is a very, very important benefit for the porno because as a sexologist, I will get clients that patients from well-educated background, but they don't know how the sex occurs in between the, in the bedroom. Lot of highly educated people, civil servants are there, but they're very poor in sex education. So this pornography gives an opportunity to explore that sexuality provided if judiciously utilized. And another benefit is it is a safe unless we experiment outside. It's free from diseases. So just watching and relieving your stress, relieving from boredom. And at the same time, people, particularly couple who are not having satisfactory sexual life, both together watching a porno will reboot their couple's sexual life. 
provided both should watch together it gives good ideas helps them to touch with each other helps them to turn on and make them to titillating effects and getting more intimacy in the couple relationship so that's how you can take the advantage of watching this for the couple at the same time sir you will benefit your relationship provided both should watch another benefit it burns calories enhances the sleep because of release of dopamine it protects the more you masturbate the more semen you ejaculate the more is the safe prostate we will be protecting from carcinoma prostate there's another advantage so watching the porno releasing the stress burning the calories so there are all advantages now today this sexology or pornography has taken a, another turn for online sex so what are, what makes the person, online sex so popular and so exciting now we'll go to govil sir dr govil sir yes sir uh, again i will repeat what dr kaushal said i am not an expert neither have much expert. <laughs> and my thanks to the organizers to giving me this opportunity the online sex the cyber sex as people call it is safe as you know the sex is a natural thing it's one of the most pleasurable thing in life and every time any sexual stimulation is there the sex is there for production of the next generation and for that the nature has made us made us in a way that any sexual thing attracts besides food which is literally required for our living sex is also for the living of the next generation so nature has made us in a way that any sexual stimuli is most pleasurable and people take advantage of that even cyber sex even talking to persons on uh, cyber sex it, uh, give arousal and even can lead to orgasm so it's uh, there is there are hardly any chance of acquiring sti yes sir excellent sir uh, and anonymity is the another advantage that's why people will resort to online sex that, that is true accessibility affordability anonymity anonymity yes sir thank you sir thank you very much now we'll go to next question watching porno is illegal in india dr mohan lal the monal is not available sir because there are some mark so okay okay we will go to again dr kabir hasan sir actually uh, uh, actually there is uh, it is not illegal to watch the porn uh, materials when you are in a private position or uh, in a individual separate room and uh, if you just uh, uh, see a video then after that if you store or share then that is an offense excellent you, yeah even india just they wanted to the ban they try to ban the uh, the porn uh, in 2015 it was unsuccessful even they yes. tried in 2018 so that was also they not successful because uh, you cannot restrict uh, the porn watches and uh, every year every day uh, watches are more than 8 percentage as you just have quoted in the the beginning and uh, it is like uh, increasing day by day and yes. those days and all when we were uh, young just i am talking about uh, 40 years back and all and it is very difficult to uh, see the thing and uh, even uh, some people they crave for the even uh, uh, books and other uh, you know, the literature yes, for uh, yes, that thing yes. but nowadays lot it is of, it is yes, poor. Sir, lot of pills have been there in the supreme court supreme court have heard elaborately on this subject and it's clearly mentioned that it is interfering with the personal freedom constitutional freedom given to the individuals that's why they said we can't avoid porno but we can restrict we can abandon porno of child pornography is abandoned yes sir in india so these are all the top six states who are highest watchers of porno in india the first being west bengal the second being the gujarat east and west 
the third being delhi fourth being meghalaya and fifth being punjab rest of the states are taking 6th to 20th positions so as rightly said by our professor kavirasan watching privately is illegal not illegal but watching public places is illegal storing and transmitting and shooting and producing producing is illegal in india we cannot do other countries it is legal at the same time lot of laws are there apart from legal laws that is indian penal ipc laws there are it laws also will come into picture it laws particularly law 16 and 17 so this is the whole picture showing you all the green color things it is legal to watch to publicly exhibit to produce pornography red color countries are it is illegal to watch in public to produce in public to transmit in public yellow color is via media certain size restrictions are there not totally illegal this is the total world picture i am focusing here so publicly is illegal whatever you do do it privately individually the section 14 of the poxa act deals with this section 15 it's illegal and it is a punishable offense of 3 to 5 years in jail and additionally it section 67b deals with this is a punishment is a non bailable punishment and the obscenity comes into the picture there so 67 act it act is a very powerful act in that 67b is a punishable act so watching the porno publicly it's a criminal act now let us go to another area say for example today a patient may come to you a lady patient comes to you and saying that doctor my husband is watching the porno i am having a lot of ill feelings about this so can you elaborate what are all the feelings the woman can feel when her husband is watching the porno we will go to again kaushal verma ji i think this has more to do from the cultural origin it depends as to which culture or which background the people are coming from there yes, in sir. certain cultures like you have uh, shown that yes, it is acceptable and uh, both the husband and wife they watch and they enjoy together in certain cultures it is considered to be even watching pornography is uh, not moral immoral and uh, people don't uh, uh, i mean they don't they they they, they attach a sort of kind of stigma to this so uh, the women who are coming from uh, certain backgrounds they feel that yes uh, if the husband is watching pornography uh, this is immoral it is uh, not right uh, they, when when the wife is there uh, they can have the sexual contacts or sexual intimacy or the sexual yes. feelings yes. or sexual expressions with the wife rather than having it through the other uh, sources like uh, online platforms or the books or maybe the uh, other materials so uh, some women will feel uh, not comfortable i think majority in our culture uh, because they have been brought up in such a way that uh, this considered to be uh, immoral it is i i am not sure that we can call it an ethical but yeah morality is attached to this yes. and these are all the feelings be... which i observed yeah. through my patients yeah they feel the... deeply hurt and betrayed yeah they feel that so, they are unattractive sexual and desirable that's why my husband is going to the pornography he is shifting his interest true, true. and they so cannot it, they feel that they are inferior they become less uh, body image will become less for them they come because they cannot compete with the young women in the pornography and they, at they, the same they, time they don't really they, they don't uh, realize <laughs> yeah these are basically the models ah. uh, and the, the best people are taken in those uh, for the photography or for the pic yes. uh, picturizing those uh, say uh, and this woman the, yeah. this, some woman will feel that it is a sign that he is not satisfied with, with her in the relationship true some women will feel that it may not i am unable to turn him on some appear that i am not enough for him so these are all the various types of reactions which the woman will feel when her husband her partner is watching the porno and certain women will feel that their husbands are untrustworthy they are weak role models for their children 
and many quarrel with them and lot of marital problems even certain cases will come to divorce also how this woman will react when they started feeling of the various varieties of feelings which you enumerated how they react with the husbands who are watching now we'll go to goel sir Uh, the feeling of reaction, which I can understand, is again uh, the uh, low self-esteem comes up because they, uh, when they feel that they are not attractive to their husband, yes, they will feel that uh, uh, low self-esteem will come up, and then uh, the quarrel may set up in marital life. Yes, sir. this some people they ignore him and suffer silently some people they start quarreling and they want to teach him a lesson they to start seeing the porno so that that fellow will be taught a lesson some start great cheating and may go for divorce so these are all how the woman may react this woman is started want to teach a lesson to her husband she started watching the porno arguments went on that this case went to divorce and here this woman is suffering silently now let us go to our satyanarasi patnaik sir how the husbands react when the woman is their wives are watching the porno the husband patnaik? feel that their wives are uh, low integrity and they suspect them that they may be having extramarital affair so there is a uh, situation of a mistrust between both the partners yes sir and, uh, husband uh, quarrels arguments with the wife and suspects uh, about her fidelity and yes sir uh, there is a tension growing between them yes definitely because ladies at least magnanimous enough to excuse the husband whereas husband is a very poor fellow very jealous fellow this fellow will not He excuses her and he feels more ill about her. He, he feels that I am not satisfying her. She needs variety. She is not trustworthy. She is a slut. So this is how the men race will react when the their partners are watching the porno. Now let us watch the other side of the coin. Now having surfed over the benefits of it, what are all the ill effects? Are is watching a porno is bad? We'll go to Dr. Kavirasan. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, too much of uh, watching porn is bad, and a lot of people they say it is kind of uh, sex education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, even a lot of uh, the, uh, the the students and uh, uh, or at the time of uh, this one, so they they learn, and if, if you just to see the porn, say they they feel like a masturbation other thing. Suppose at the time of uh, Uh, that age group, that tender age group, and uh, so they feel uh, they are relaxed, and the sex crimes and other things are uh, uh, less, and too much of watching, and uh, it uh, it is uh, uh, associated with uh, some uh, they lost interest in other routine activities, the school performances, yes, and sir. they used to watch uh, in uh, uh, it uh, thing because uh, smartphones, and uh, it has given way for everything, almost yes. uh, the entire thing is uh, open for everyone. and uh, i think uh, too much is uh, the addiction and other thing has to be uh, uh, to be controlled yes this porno doesn't have any love affection intimacy for play nothing they will straight away jump into the action so that is divide of relationship divide of love divide of intimacy it reduces the desire for spouse so the fellow easily attracted he is stuck to the pornography and taking less interest towards the partner so he is more attached to the porno leaving the partner aside so near it so far porno makes you are a lousy lover because you want to get right into the act without any foreplay porno makes you more critical of your spouse and less in love and porn makes you crave for more extreme sexual acts keeps you from being tender because of the release of dopamine tons and tons of dopamine that takes up this for brain and cortex that's why you you are not happy with satisfaction you will be craving for more extreme acts 
so porno is more abusive unless properly judiciously used so anything overuse is difficult what are the psychological effects of watching porno again a sub sub question in this is the psychological effects are becoming angry hostile irritable when the spouse asks this fellow to stop using porno because he is getting more involved in it so anybody asking him to stop don't watch that fellow becomes angry becomes hostile becomes irritable and it leads to lot of secrecy in relationship so instead of watching in with the times he goes out or he goes into the room locks up the room and watches it or watch in the this cell phones like this lot of secrecy comes into the relationship that spoil the relationship it reduces the intimacy it reduces the emotional distance overall poor quality of relationship which sets in between between the wife and husband being unable to abstain from porno lot of working hours lost disciplinary action job loss will occur to that fellow lot of missing assignments for this it people for the students lot of skipping of their classes their grades will become decline and not only the psychological effects even the physical effects are also there dr patnaik are you there yes yes what are the physical effects of watching porno uh, the physical effects are they get uh, tired and there is uh, they are uh, not able to concentrate on their work they also there is decrease in appetite yes and sir. there is more of uh, pain fatigue and uh, lethargic feeling yes sir and sleeping disturbances of course are there yes sir and because uh, they will be watching prolonged hours exposure to the screen ultraviolet rays dry eyes carpal tunnel syndrome headaches sleep disturbances eating irregularities these are all like neglected family and friends problem is the job and schools so these are all the physical side effects of watching porno and lot of family side effects are all there because relationship is getting affected because of that lot of family problems do occur and now many panelists have used the word too much porno watching too much time how much is too much now we'll go back to our the first speaker first panelist is there senior man yeah are you asking sir. me yes sir kaushil sir dr govel is the senior most person okay sir any one now let, let next question will go to govel now you ah, yeah yeah okay it. okay i think uh, you know there is no fixed time frame that yes it should be uh, this much and it cannot be like yes, stop sir. after 5 minutes or stop after 7 minutes or stop after 10 minutes but it should be a reasonable time which does not produce the psychological impact the yes, negative sir. psychological Excellent. impact it should Excellent. not produce the negative physical impact that we have been talking about and not the negative emotional impacts yes, so sir. it has Excellent. to be balanced in such a way that it is healthy and it is uh, uh, practiced in uh, in a manner that it does not affect the other aspects of the life whether these are personal physical social emotional or your workplace yes sir excellent sir as long as your work is not affected as long as a job is not at culprit as long as your relationship is not at trouble as long as is a loss of track of time is not there it is not too much if you are losing track if your job working hours are suffering your relationship is suffering your sleep is suffering your health is suffering or you are deeply ashamed and guilty feeling depressed then you are watching too much porno so, so too much no is the time no it is subjective each couple yeah. each person is having different time some people may get 10 minutes too much some people may be 6 hours too much so these are all the signs that should be there to say that that person is watching too much porno say so watch this girl is watching up to 3:30 in the morning early hours so no sleep so she is more prone for dry eyes irritable eyes sleep disturbances as a result of less sleep more hormonal disturbances will occur her circadian rhythm will be affected 
so more hormonal disturbances will occur for her so these are all the things will happen now our panelists are use the word porno addiction is really porno addiction is there as the morally simply weak selfish people or weak moral people are getting as addicted to this now we will go to dr govel sir porno uh, addiction porno addiction word has been used and people who cannot go away from watching but some people have used the word compulsive behavior yes sir uh, excellent sir almost 20% of people do have compulsive behavior in themselves and uh, as you mentioned earlier if you cannot keep away from watching porn porn no then it's a compulsive behavior or you, you may call addiction yes sir it affects the life of the person the relationships of the person even job of the person and yes, their sir. family relations also this porn addiction is as rightly said by our goel sir it is classified as a addiction compulsive behavioral disorder and in dsm 5 by american psych dss statistical manual and our who icd classification doesn't use the word porno addiction they use the word behavioral compulsory behavioral disorders so this, this is the compulsory compulsive behavioral disorder so this compulsory behavioral disorder lot of psychological impacts are there and men are because why men are more becoming addictive or compulsive behavior is men are usually visually stimulated easily viewing the erratic images releases more dopamine and that creates a more feeling of excitement that more excitement leading to orgasm and wants more desire that more desire leads to more again surfing more surfing leads to more dopamine release more dopamine release to more desire again so this is a never ending process as a result this fellow will be totally immersed into the porn activity neglecting the relationship neglecting the job neglecting the studies that's how his compulsive behavior will set in this person so it's a point at which porno starts a negative impact as you develop tolerance watching to certain extent it won't give satisfaction to him it puts a comma only it won't put full stop there so that fellow will be searching much more then much more so it goes on that's why it becomes a compulsive behavioral disorder this compulsive behavioral disorder leads to compulsive masturbating or leading to sexual dysfunctions or experimenting the extreme sexual activities what he watched in the porno that's why more social calamities like this is sexual adulteries rapes all these things occur by certain only less than 1% of people are doing this because of the compulsive behavioral disorder sets in not all porno watchers are becoming a compulsive disorder or porn addicts there are certain reasons only less than 1% are becoming compulsive addictive disorders those are all the people who are behaving anti socially so use of pornography negatively affects our sexual life difficult to become aroused as a result there is a one entity called porno induced erectile dysfunction this is a latest observation for the last 3 years throughout the world sexologists are observing this so when the people are watching porno excessively too much or addictive or behavioral compulsive state then these people are manifesting physically in the form of erectile dysfunction because of the reduced response to erectile tissue because of the binge watching leading to dopamine release decreasing it and not responding leaving the mind not responding to this dopamine release not only for sex even for food can release the dopamine a good nutritious food if our kaushal verma sahab offers a nice nutritious sumptuous lunch so that feeling of sumptuousness will release the dopamine so the first one the curve in the first topmost curve is the food release the bottom one is the corner release nicotine release cocaine release the porno one is continuously releasing it because it never ends the desire never ends that fellow will be searching for some more new things some more new things so because of that dopamine continuously shooting of dopamine in the brain will exhaust 
here afterwards he won't respond to that that's why that's why you manifest in the form of erectile dysfunction porno induced erectile dysfunction is a new entity of late how today the lifestyles particularly alcohol taking obesity comorbid like diabetes affecting our sexual lives now we'll go to sachadarshi patnaik sir sir uh, due to smoking and alcohol there is uh, loss of libido and uh, erectile dysfunction in men and in women there is uh, coital pain and uh, arousal problems or there is uh, sexual dysfunction so they feel irritated because of that and uh, all the newer uh, the younger generation uh, they uh, get uh, less of uh, coital pleasure dr patnaik i am sorry just sorry to intervene dr yeah, venkatraman i am i am i am aware, I am, I am aware. Yeah, thank, you. thank you thank you thank you very much yeah. over to patnaik so there is a loss of uh, arousal loss of libido erectile dysfunction in men and uh, in women they don't feel the pleasure during sex yes sir our lifestyle today is because lot of junk foods zomato tomato so many apps are there people are bringing it and using more saturated fats more saturated drinks producing a lot of obesity now india has become near rich near obese and we have got the dubious distinction of becoming diabetic capital of the world highest indians are diabetics now all these things are producing hormonal disturbance less testosterone more sexual dysfunctions see the obesity see the obesity morbid obesity and this obesity will bring certain more comorbid conditions like diabetes thyroid prolactinemia and depressions cardiovascular problems liver problems alcohol added to that liver problem renal failure so many things substance abuse particularly alcohol this alcohol is such a culprit thing now you see watch this slide this fellow once he gulps the alcohol the girl looks pretty and tall once the effect of alcohol is over the girl looks plumpy and short in our hyderabad language there is a shayari on this jab aap desh ki sharab peete ho mujhe paru kehte ho जब आप देश की शराब पीते हो मुझे पारू कहते हो जब आप स्काच पीते हो मुझे डार्लिंग कहते हो आज क्या पिया है मुझे सैतान कह रहा है देन दिस वेल इज आंसरिंग आज मैं होश में हूं इसीलिए कि आप सैतान लग रहा है दट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ अल्कोहल दट्स वे शेक्सपियर से alcohol it will make up make up and take up away the action it ignites the desire but takes takes away the performance so that's another culprit is smoking direct vasoconstrictor nicotine so constrict the blood vessels penile blood vessels are the smallest blood vessels in the body so first the penile blood supply will suffer our sleep patterns nobody today in the present day lifestyle nobody is sleeping 8 hours minimum 6 hours sound sleep is required all irregular sleep thanks to uh, computers laptops smartphones or irregular duties night working hours so uh, circadian rhythm is getting affected and the medications are contributing today the our citizens are feeling not only india everywhere throughout the world same thing they feel that for every ill there is a pill they are consuming pills like anything all these pills are affecting the sexual life painkillers opiates antihistamines we dermatologists write left and right muscle relaxants chemotherapy drugs histamine h2 receptors antidepressants anti epileptics anti hypertensives corticosteroids ketoconazole flutamide ethylene estrogens finasteride all these things are affecting the sexual life of the individuals that's why a lot of drugs which are coming is affecting us
apart from the so many systemic conditions and my dear friends today we are all in the using endocrine disruptors using lot of phthalates because of the plastics this plastics and the pesticides food estrogen uh, phytoestrogens eating lot of soya that is a pro estrogen that's causing lot of disturbance in the testosterone so these injuries and operations see the how the people will uh, go and travel for long hours together compressing the perineal blood supply see here the activities risky activities see the risky activities producing perineal injuries compression of peri perineal blood supply all these activities pulgore injuries retroperitoneal surgeries perineal surgeries proctectomy colectomy sympathetectomies all these things are contributing for the sexual dysfunction my dear friends to sum up good sex can stretch the bad relationship for longer time so we are healthcare providers should strive hard to get the good sex in the relationship porno if watched judiciously can peacefully coexist with the relationship it will reboot the sexual life we have to educate the patients that living in real life is essential not on a real life porno is a real life we should appreciate the reality real life to real life with this now as i told porno is a judiciously it's a double edged weapon one has to use judiciously to deserve to enhance the affection love intimacy sharing and caring with this i take leave thank you and i thank all my panelists and all the participants for their silent observation and keen interest Thank you very Thank you. much. Back to organizers, please. Thank you, sir. Doctor Vengetramana, shall I? Doctor Murugan, yes, shall I add one? Shall I add only one more thing? You are done, done. You are wonderfully. Congratulations. Informative. Only one thing. Yes, sir. That watching porno will make the spouse to expectations more regarding the size and time, <laughs> and this is one of the comp. I uh, think will relate to uh, sexual problems and. Uh, both men and women so this is also very important sir yes sir yes sir yes sir thank you thank you very much very good thank you sir thank you thank you back, back to our thank you speech. superbly done thank you sir thank you <coughs> thank you very much thank you venkatramana sir for a wonderful panel discussion On Thank such you. a rare and something, I mean, it's not open topic, but you covered in a very decent way, sir. Thank you so much. No, so, to organizing committee. Hi, Kaushal. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> very nice. How, but but Nayak, how are you? Thank you, I'm sir. Fine. Thank you for a nice session. So the we are we are at the end of the packet. So before going to the validity function, uh, we have a sensitized the uh, younger generation, the PGs. Uh, with the PG quiz for this, I invite the quiz master for this session, Dr. J. Tulsi. Uh, she is assistant professor from uh, uh, Government Medical College, Surapet. And uh, over to Dr. Tulsi. Thank you, sir. It's time for uh, PG quiz. I request the technical team to release the questions. Instructions. Okay. By this time, you may be aware of uh, all the instruction. But still, I repeat once again: each session uh, will have ten NCQ question questions, and mark only one correct answer. Three doppers will be selected for winners. Duration is five minutes of time, and the winner show has to be submitted bona fide certificates from the HODs. Don't refresh. No. All the best to all the PGs. So meanwhile, uh, we conduct the felicitation session. I request the chairpersons, Dr. A. K. Jaiswal sir, Dr. B. Mohan Kumar sir, and Dr. B. Janardhan sir to felicitate, felicitate the moderator, panelists, and speakers. And the quiz master. And the quiz master.
have the caution from myself. I've got the list of all of them. Like the Saturday should be quiet soon. Like the PK, I do not see it. Like the demon, I'm glad it's here. So I request the organizing committee to instead uh, change process, AKJS also. Dr. V. Mohan Kumar Shir. Dr. B. Janata. Thank you so much the organizing committee to making me a part of this wonderful uh, ASTA conference. Thank you so much, sir. Beginning this opportunity. Now over to Dr. Bhumesh Kumar, sir. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Sir.